We've been Rango. No, sits. We've been Lucy. We've been Bruce. Hey, Jebby. He never sits. He's, he's a total anarchist. Okay, vamos. So, what if there was a pill that you could take and it would make you feel unbelievable, almost like you're high. So, almost like, uh, like, uh, like uh, ecstasy or something like that. It also fixes almost all of your ailments, <laughs> including pretty much every disease. It cures arthritis. Uh, it's been said to cure cancer. It's been said to cure virtually every disease. It's been actually said to cure blindness in some people, caused by diabetes apparently. Uh, it also improves your eyesight. This pill improves your eyesight. It's also incredible for uh, male sexuality. Uh, your blood will be flowing uh, and you'll have no problems in, in bed. Uh, it also gives you, it's like a brain booster. It gives you uh, like super clarity. So if you have exams or something, if you're stupid enough to go to school, sorry, but it's true because uh, it's all on the internet. You don't need to pay for that crap. And most of it's wrong anyway, and all the good information is on the internet. Uh, but uh, if you did have exams or something, instead of taking like caffeine or, or uh, meth, like a lot of kids do, uh, take this pill and uh, super clarity. Like you, you'll, your IQ, I think, improves. I, I've seen some studies. This, you take this one pill and your IQ improves. Uh, so it cures virtually every disease. Uh, you'll also be like ripped. You're just like, you have no fat. So it's like almost like taking like a good steroid. Uh, you might not be massively muscular, but if you work out, you will be muscular for sure. Uh, but it won't put on pounds like steroids, like muscle. You have to actually work out, uh, but you can. And you'll have so much energy when you take this pill that you'll be working out like crazy anyway. Uh, and what if I told you this pill is free, absolutely free. And it all works. It starts working within one to two days. And after that, every day just gets better and better. Everything gets fixed, absolutely everything. Now, what I just described is fasting. <laughs> That's what fasting does, uh, as well as intermittent fasting. That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, totally free. That's why no one tells you. Like uh, most doctors, some of them actually know it. I, I can tell in their eyes, they know how evil they are. Some of them don't know. They think they're really trying to help you out by giving you all these drugs that kill you and not ever fixing the problem, but just the symptoms, uh, which actually just makes everything worse. Uh, but anyway, either way, they will never tell you about it. They're, you know, they all work for the government or for these big organizations, whatever, billion dollar industries like the, the Cancer Cure Cancer Foundation, which never seems to be able to find a cure for cancer, even though there's dozens of them. Cannabis oil, fasting, uh, all kinds of things, peach seeds or something, there's tons of stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, so no one will ever tell you about this stuff and it's all free, <laughs> like I said. So it's pretty crazy, right? Like when people talk about, you know, all these things we need in the world, we actually have most of them right now. Uh, like, oh, what about all the disease? That's actually easily curable. Uh, uh, everything, you know, erectile dysfunction. How, many, how big of an industry is that? Billions. Yeah, just uh, fast for a little while and it all goes away pretty much. Might be, you know, there might be some deeper issues. Uh, see some dogs up there. Let's head back this way. Rango! But, uh, yeah, it's quite amazing that uh, it's free. <laughs> yeah, how, how much money do people spend every year, right? Just for one or two. Larry, sit. Low. Just hang on, car coming. Yeah, all the money that people spend, literally billions and billions and billions of dollars, just for things like Viagra or uh, things like, um, uh, you know, all the antidepressant medication. That's something like 10 or 20 percent of all women in the U.S. are on that. Like, wow, that is really unbelievable. Those are, they're basically zombified. Uh, uh, very, uh, you know, one of the main... Uh, symptoms or side effects of antidepressant medication is suicide. Uh, that should tell you something, uh, but people aren't very smart. They all went to their 12 years of government indoctrination camps and uh, were never taught how to actually think for themselves. And uh, a lot of the media and the mainstream stuff on TV is all made uh, to 
not make you not want to think for yourself because hey look who's all cool it's it's catch me outside girl and and the kardashians and they're just stupid but they got a big butt or something so that's all you got to do you got to try to be like them that's got to be your idols and a lot of people do think of them as idols <laughs> uh, but anyway that's other people you don't that doesn't have to be you uh, but yeah isn't that amazing that there's something that cures pretty much everything that everything everyone wants every problem that everyone has physically mentally even somewhat spiritually costs nothing and just takes a couple days and you're pretty much fixing most things and uh, hardly anyone knows about it and if you even mention it like I've got a lot of open-minded people are fairly open-minded I thought <laughs> on uh, on my Facebook but every time I post something, like I posted the other day, that my eyesight seems to have really improved uh, since I've been doing this. A few people lost it. I had to block some people. They went nuts. They were trying to tell me that's impossible. And then I saw all these other people. There's literally five people at least in the comments who said, yeah, I did the same thing. I did some fasting and my eyesight improved, like dramatically. <laughs> uh, and the optometrist had no idea why. Really? Optometrist? You never research about eyes and, you know, vitamins and... How the brain's actually a big part of your vision and if your brain's not working properly because it's not the blood isn't flowing properly ever look into this stuff optometrist or doctors go for your eight years or whatever of memorizing useless information bunch of idiots like absolute fools like most doctors not all dr morris and a few others are awesome but like 99 percent are some of the biggest idiots and losers and uh oh yeah. i just I, I don't even want to talk about doctors it makes me sick a bunch of drug dealing, uh, uh, real bad drugs, like not like people on the street, someone selling marijuana, those guys are doing a service selling you something healthy that can actually cure cancer. Uh, but these guys, no, they give you just evil ass stuff and, and basically just get you sick and basically kill you. Doctors are responsible. That's one of the biggest causes of death in the U.S. today <laughs> is uh, medication. <laughs> uh, that should tell you something and uh, fasting fixes most of it and no one talks about it no one has any interest in talking about it uh, i i posted on my uh, facebook about it and one guy went nuts he's like you're just you got a new diet book or something you're trying to make some money on this i was like no I'm just trying to help you know got this great technology now called the internet i can just kind of give you some information it's up to you to actually listen though and uh, most people still don't and they're, they're on their tv and they just uh you know, if it's not a doctor or someone from the government, some evil person who steals all your money and extorts you and uh, kills a lot of people, if, if they don't tell you, then uh, it can't be real. I remember that too, all the people have gone for their eight years of going to medical school. Like the guys who actually put you back together after you're in a car accident, those guys are fine. Uh, and there's others too. Uh, certain types of surgeons for certain things. But you're, you know, the the general doctor, the guy's trying to help you out with your ailments and your dis-ease. Uh, these guys are the problem, not the solution. And think about all the billions of dollars and all the man hours that have been wasted of these guys learning useless information and actually information that ends up killing most of their customers. Uh, and they don't want you to know. Ask any doctor. Have you looked into fasting? And uh, most of you guys don't look at anything. They don't want to know anything. Like they, they, they're just memorizers, repeaters of the wrong information that's from an evil system set up to kill you. And uh, if they won't even look into it, that should tell you something right there. If they look into it, I'd be curious to hear some of their answers. Uh, most of them will probably say, well, there's not enough studies done on it yet. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, the studies, they're funded all by the government, all by the pharmaceutical industries. And they will run out of town anybody who comes up with any study of any size uh, that just says, you don't need any of this stuff. You just need to stop eating for a few days and then do some intermittent fasting after that and change your diet and you'll get rid of pretty much all your dis-ease and pretty much most of your ailments. Uh, and then, yeah, the entire industry's gone. Actually, the book that uh, turned me on to a lot of this is called The uh, Muc Mucusless Diet uh, and healing system by I think his name's Arnott Professor Arnott or something anyway he that was a hundred years ago when he wrote it and uh, uh, he was found dead uh, after he gave a speech uh, he was getting really popular about a hundred years ago 
people are really catching on. Everyone is starting to write into their newspapers. Yeah, I, I've had this uh, arthritis for 20 years. I, I just started fasting and it's gone. Uh, and someone would write in, yeah, I had depression, it's gone. Uh, I had cancer, it's gone. Uh, after a few of those, he started getting a big audience and he started doing speeches. I think he was in Chicago doing a speech and uh, on his way back to his hotel or something, he was found dead. They said he slipped and fell and cracked his head open. Uh, quite common injury. Uh, either way, even if it was, that was the case, but I doubt it because they really will take out people. Look at all these doctors come out with the things that cure cancer lately uh, in the last couple of years. I think most of them have been killed already. Uh, so you, yeah, for people out there, if you don't know, you live in an incredibly evil system and you actually support it by your support of government by not figuring out what's going on uh, and by paying your taxes, uh, you're actually supporting terrorism and this evil system. And don't say, well, if I didn't, you know, they, they might hurt me. Well, are you, like, especially for men out there, are you a man or are you a, a little bitch? Are you too scared, too scared to uh, stop? You know, all these guys go to football games, they'll hoot and holler and they'll, they'll have some beers and they'll, they'll want to fight you. Yeah, the real tough guys. Uh, let's get the real tough guys out there are you a man or are you going to be a slave your whole life? That's what it comes down to. And this whole system's evil. And uh, do you support it or not? Either you're with us or against us. Who was that? George W. Bush or Barack Drone Bomber? The Nobel Peace Prize winner? It's basically that easy. It's, everything's that easy. Uh, and and uh, so they, they don't want you to know this information. And uh, so the more people that spread this information, the better. And who knows what will happen. If it gets big enough, then probably some people will start getting killed again. They'll come out with every sort of thing. Like even Steve Jobs. That seems to be the big argument against fruitarianism. I don't know. I've never looked into what he ate. I know he was really involved in the occult. Uh, he was a mason. Uh, Apple was actually a very satanic sort of a thing about the Garden of Eden. Uh, and that's why, you know, the very first uh, Apple computer, the price of it, $666. So he was... Uh, involved with the, what you call the Illuminati or the elites or whatever you want to call them. Uh, and of course, the Apple had some great stuff. It wasn't really Jobs so much. It was Wozniak. But anyway, that's a whole different story. But my point is, I don't know. But they'll come out and they'll, you know, Ashton Kutcher, another Mason. Oh, I tried to do his diet and I was hospitalized. Yeah, well, let's see what actually happened. I doubt it. Uh, uh, I've never heard of that from anyone else. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to try it myself. I'm feeling freaking awesome and uh, we'll just see what happens but I feel amazing I'm just gonna keep doing this and keep talking about it until basically they kill me I'm surprised they haven't killed me for my central bank stuff yet so here's another one I'm trying to find any reason I can to have them try to kill me muy bien perros muy bien muy bien Lucy Bruce muy bien Bruce vamos Bruce Lucy Lucy vamos vamos Lucy muy bien